Be still, thank you. Don't don't flop in my again. Get it together. Hair combed, we think. It better behave. Face wash. Body covered. Greetings and salutations. You see too many fingers. You already seen me uh, be groovy because I've had to talk to my hair today. Right now. Okay. Uh, so I'm answering your questions, right? Right. Okay. Let's get started. I only got a few minutes to go. I'm trying to knock out some videos, but mm, just. Also, uh, housekeeping, if you hear, uh, you see I bring up a hot beverage cup. Mm, it's kind of drafted. It's not cool, but I'm drafted. I'm drafty. I'm a little cooler feeling, and I'm have a little sniffle going on. I don't think it's cold. I don't think I have a cold, but I think I'm just, you know, tired and you know that kind of thing. So I got a cold. I mean, a hot beverage. So you might see a cup. Don't be alarmed. Y'all are not alone. I'm just talking. Okay. Anyways, first question. Let's get started. Um, you. I know you're a fan of Ready to Love. I saw you share the casting info for Dallas season. Are you secretly auditioning? If not, will you review and recap the show? Um, no. I am not secretly uh, auditioning for Ready to Love. I'm also not publicly auditioning for Ready to Love. Uh, Ready to Love is not my process in dating. First of all, it's, uh, I've watched since season one. I had a post up, but something was going crazy with Google, not Google, but what was that, G Plus or whatever, and uh, my blog was connected, and it kept saying I had like 250 uh, views, that was way too much, mm -mm, I know but I know my worth, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not worth 250 views, I just know I'm not worth a lot, but, uh, so I had to delete it, but since season one I've been watching it, it's, uh, what's that, speed dating on crack? That's number one. I can multiple date, but I can't multiple date with his picks and my picks all together. You know, I can. You're Mister Tuesday. I'm Mister. Uh, I mean, I'm Miss Tuesday in your world. We don't need to know. I don't need to know who Miss Wednesday is and Miss uh Miss Thursday is. Trust me. I went to a whole funeral. <laughs> we was all in the same room. I'm uh Facebook friends with one of them. The other one, I hey we hug. I hug both of them. At, hey. <laughs> Okay, that can happen. Nobody cr had no crosswords, and we didn't have to hear if that we do have crosswords. Nobody hears about it on that show. You the, drama gets sometimes drama is started because of the crosswords. I don't need to know all of that, and vice versa with my men. My men don't need to. One guy bows out because he th the man I'm feeling the most bows out because he thinks the other guy likes me more, and we have a, a tighter connection. We don't need all of that. You know, I, it's good to watch on TV. Other people can do that. I can't. So I can't be on the show. Okay. Uh, would I review and recap the show? No. I would do, re I might do reels on it. You know, like my first impression, quick Im impressions of each uh, episode. On You know, those reels are, they look like, it's like TikTok. Some people, it is TikTok. I'm not on TikTok, but you know, on the other social media sites. I would do a reel. I would probably do reels on them, but I wouldn't do a review and recap. And that's because if I know someone on the show, and if they're edited in a way that they are not good or bad, or if they are coming across themselves, good or bad, but they're not that person. See, I don't want y'all to. I don't want to sway anybody's opinion about that. You know, and I don't want to be dropping tea about somebody and all that kind of stuff. I just want to watch the show. If it's someone I do know and hopefully I'm close with, they'll call me for the friend, doing the friends date if they're still doing that. Or the family date if they're still doing that. That's what I want. I want to watch the show because uh, if, when they're in Dallas and DFW, I want to see where all they're going. Have I been there or somewhere else I want to jot down so I can go and that kind of stuff. That's why I want to go. But I would do, uh, I had to think long and hard about that, though, when I saw that question. I was like, what happened there? But, yeah, it's all because if I know someone on that show, because, I mean, somebody I know could be on the show, hopefully, you know. Most of my exes are uh, married, so so if I do see one of them on there, I got, especially a bad ex, the worst boyfriend ever ended up on that show. He's supposed to be married now. Mm -mm, no, <laughs> see, I'll be like, what kind of cockamamie show is this? Y'all let him on. Y'all didn't do a good vetting process. So, <laughs> I'm acting goofy. But no, yeah, I would do reels. I would not 
do a full recap and review, no. So, yeah, and I won't be on the show. I'm going to be watching at home, just like everybody else. Okay. I uh, have update. Got an update. Got an update. Got an update. Uh, again, uh, if you don't know, um, any, uh, uh, any, the, mm-mm, the video and post that the, this question, I mean, this update goes to, the original question will be down below if it's, you're watching just the video it'll be uh that uh video will be the link to it will be in the comment section not the comment section, the details description that's what it's called and uh below this video on the blog will be the post that this was on so the original question was on but here's the update my uh ex-husband's church member is an ex from college who cheated on me I went to college in Arkansas and only keep up with my friends since I graduated in 2005. Uh, ex-husband and I divorced in early 2019 after eight years. My ex moved, my college ex moved to uh, Texas five years ago. My ex-husband joined the uh, joined his church the January before the world uh, went into lockdown. That's 2020. Uh, both guys in the same Bible study group and became friends. One Sunday after I, you answered my question, I met up with my ex-husband to pick our kids up from his care over the weekend after service. Our co- I mean, mm, our college. My college ex came over smiling. I found out how healed I was quickly. I was a little annoyed. After seeing him, but not enraged, uh, as I was in college. I cordially responded to his greeting. And, of course, my ex-husband asked, how do we know each other? College ex told him, oh, we went together in college. My ex-husband told him who I was. I got the kids in the car and told the guys goodbye. You know, that was pretty smart. Get, get on out of there. I know the show. Don't no need to hang around. Uh, my ex husband told him. Oh no 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 no! I read that part. Uh, my ex husband called me later that night and told me that the guy, uh, that was the guy that he wanted to hook me up with. I busted out into laughter and told him no need to do that. Uh, I also told him what you said about matchmakers not getting everything right. Not asking his church friend who attended the same school around the same time as his ex-wife if he knew her already uh, is getting something wrong. (laughs) He agreed. They are still friends and I am single and not going out on a date with an ex. Or as you said, a guy from the bad ex list. Y'all, y'all see what happened when y'all listen to me? Y'all listen to Outspoken Diva? Your world goes around nicely, doesn't it? No heartache on her end. Had to take a drink on that. That was good. Oh, that was good. Okay. Other than that, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or QCCs, you see I'm going to answer them. Uh, drop them below uh, at the email address that you see on this video or on the blog. Or uh, drop them in the comments that you on the blog, the video, on the com- uh, social media site that you see this in. Other than that, uh, talking to you on adult terms.